Hey guys, welcome back to SAP Fiori tutorial series. In today's part 8 video, we are covering an important feature that will significantly enhance the user experience of your Fiori application, which is nothing but fragmentation. We will use fragment to create a profile drop down menu. This menu will provide options like my profile, properties, and logout. In the last few videos, we integrated the Northwind or data service and set up user validation. Now, we will improve the app further by creating a profile drop down menu. We will use a UEFI fragment to make the menu reusable and modular, making our app easier to maintain and expand. First of all, let's add a press attribute button in our XML file. This button will activate the drop down menu when clicked, showing the options we defined in our fragment. Now let's implement the profile drop down function in the controller. This function will load and display the fragment when the button is clicked. Go to the last part of the controller and add the function there. Instead of implementing the logic first, we will create an alert button and check whether it's working properly. Now go to the output page and click on the button to see the output. The alert is showing successfully. Now let's create a fragment file name profile dropdown.fragment.xml. In this file, we will define a menu control with three menu options: my profile, properties, and logout. Each menu item comes with an icon to enhance the visual presentation. A fragment always starts with a fragment tag on the beginning. The fragment setup is straightforward. We use the menu and menu item controls to create our drop down options, making it easy to add more items in the future. There's an official SAP icon website where you can find plenty of icons for your application. For that, go to a new tab and search for SAP UEFI icons. And here, click on the first website. It will take you to the website where you can find icons. Search for the icons which you want to add in your application. Here, I am going to add customer icon. Click on the customer icon. And from here, the first one, you need to copy this one and go to your code and paste it here in this icon attribute. Similarly, you need to do the same for other two menus. Now, let's implement the profile dropdown function in the controller file. This function will load and display the fragment when the button is clicked. We will remove this alert and we will type our actual code. Here we are mentioning the ID as profile button. We need to mention the same ID in our button which is in the XML file. As of now, we didn't mention any name to the ID, so we will declare the ID as profile button. If the fragment has not been loaded yet, we use fragment.load to load it and then open it using open by. If it is already loaded, we open it directly. For finding the name of your application, you need to go to the manifest.json file of your application and there you can find the name of your application. If you scroll to the top, you can find app01 as my application ID. So copy this ID and go to your controller again and paste it there. Here I will paste app zero one dot view that is my file name inside which my fragment is there and I will mention my fragment name here without the dot fragment dot XML extension.
at last we need to bind this and add the code for opening it directly if the fragment is already loaded. We are done with the implementation of this fragment. So let's go to the output page and click on the button to see the output. I'm clicking on the button and still the fragment is not loading. Let's see what's the issue here. To finding the issue, we need to go to the console. Here we can see the fragment is not loaded, which means we have not imported the fragment to our controller. We need to import the fragment to the controller, then only we can use it. So let's go to the controller page and import the fragment here. For importing the fragment, we need to go to the top of this page and add a comma here and add our fragment import statement. Then we will pass this fragment to the controller. Now we have finished the code. Then go to the output page and let's see our output now. Clear the console so you can understand whether there is any error or not. So there is no error. So let's click on the fragment and it's men it's listing. As you can see, the fragment is loaded successfully and it is listing the menu here. But it is listing my profile, my profile, my profile. This is because we return it wrong. That is, we need to go to the fragment.xml page again and need to change my profile here. We will change it as properties and logout. And after this, we will implement the logout function. You can see the new change is affected in the website. Let's also add a logout function to handle user logouts. When the user clicks logout from the drop down menu, they will be redirected back to the home view. The logout function uses the router to navigate to the home view providing a simple and effective way to log out the user. Now let's test it. We will click the welcome button to open the profile dropdown. The menu should show my profile properties and logout with the logout taking us back to the home page. That's all for part 8. We have successfully added a profile drop-down menu to our SAP Fury application using Fragment. In the next video, we will continue to enhance the app with more advanced features. So be sure to stay tuned. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave your questions in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more SAP tutorials. Don't forget to check out the previous parts in the playlist linked here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.